Check it out, everybody. Here we have the woman that was pressing me, asking if I was ready to go. Here I am, ready to go, and what's she doing? Laundry. Who, who knows? <laughs> who, quiet! Hey, will you bring me my uh, Dino Head hat? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I watched you spill that water everywhere. Imagine if that was me that spilled that everywhere. Yeah, so if I would clean it up, you would just be like... I clean it up with my socks. Yeah, and Call you good. smear it everywhere. Here. What is it? My hat. I want the other one so I can clip it onto my belt loop. That's cool. I am the coolest. What's going on YouTube? Time for the official intro. Not just me talking to my wife. I'm Brandon. You are back with the Gilstrap Garage. And we're taking this beautiful Labor Day Monday to go for a little rip. It's probably high 70s, low 80s out right now, if that feels phenomenal. And we're gonna go so it's about 45 minutes up to Blair, Nebraska. It's a pretty cool little road to get up there. Get a little, a couple little twists and turns. We haven't done a whole lot of riding since we got back from Sturgis. Our schedules have been crazy. And uh, once I get going a little bit, I'll get into that a little more. I think I'm going to cut out this freeway riding. It's just a bunch of construction ahead of us. When we hop off the freeway and get on some of those nicer roads, I'll explain what I got going on in my life and just share all that with you guys. We'll see you there. Super clean. I'm not a huge Nova fan, especially the four doors, but that thing, that was super clean. Nice to see. That color reminds me of uh, my horror, my old Haro BMX bike. It was bright orange like that. That's a little more red than, than my Haro was, but nice anyway. I think I took a different route than I anticipated, but whatever. Told you guys I was gonna fill you in on what I got going on. So, in the last, I don't know, month and a half, I've been working no less than like 50 hours a week, 50, 55 hours a week. It's been insane. It's made, it's made the YouTube side of things extremely difficult. But I'm not giving up, I'm not slowing down. I still got videos dropping every week. It's just, it takes a lot more out of me. My old job, I used to edit all my videos at work. I used to spend all morning working on bikes, riding bikes, doing whatever, going to work in the afternoon. Super slow paced, a lot of downtime. I'd edit all my videos and that is not the case anymore. But I'm at work 55 hours a week now. I am working 55 hours a week. Then I come home, it takes me four or five hours to chop up a video, throw it together and upload it and whatever. But that's the name of the game. It's, it's, uh, I mean, I've deleted all of my social media and everything except for YouTube. I'm not giving up on that. I really do get a lot of joy out of making these videos. And I'm not giving up on that part, but I do got to start getting in as much riding as I can because we're gonna be out of good weather here pretty soon. It's cooling down real fast and I'm not gonna be able to film those things. You know, go out and film and ride in the middle of January like I used to be able to do in California. But what I do have planned is getting some stuff done on my car filming a lot of that. Uh, the, so the goal, I just set this goal for myself a couple days ago. I don't know if it's going to happen. My brother says he plans on coming out in November for Thanksgiving. And I, he did a lot of work with me dropping that motor in trans in my Monte Carlo. I still have not started it. 
I want to have that thing prepped and ready to fire up for the first time when he's out here. So there's a goal for that. I'm going to be plugging away at that. I've got a bunch of little stuff I want to do to this bike. I still have customer odds and ends coming in every once in a while. But like I said, I just haven't really had the time to do it. Like I've got my buddy JK's bike on the lift right now and it's taken me, I don't know how many weeks, not, not weeks, but let's say about four days right now to do a clutch cable. Like it's, it's just insane how limited my time is. Good problems to have, I guess. I've, I've worked hard enough with the company I got hired on at to kind of work however much I want. And uh, that's another thing too, why I've been working so much. My wife and kids are getting ready to go back to California for two weeks, like two and a half weeks to go see some Morgan Wallen concerts, go to my nephew's birthday party and things like that. So that's gonna be two and a half weeks of my wife not working not bringing in her you know her income so I got to make up for that stuff by the time this video comes out they'll already be back but I'm just prepping for all of that right now so that's what I got going on I don't really know what kind of stuff I'm gonna be bringing in the future but that's that's all I'm trying to get down with is let you know that I'm not giving up on it for sure I've had at least one video come out every week for almost two years now. There was a while where I was doing two videos a week, like I said, because I just, I had the time to do it. I wish I still had the time to do it, but I don't. I still haven't really gone through this thing from Sturgis. There was a, a couple little issues that I needed to address and I haven't. I got the exhaust bolted up. Uh, kind of had an oh shit moment. I put this thing up on the lift to start going through it and one of my shock bolts, one of the shock mounting bolts backed almost all the way out. Kind of a scary moment because that could have that could have been bad. That's the kind of stuff that can put you to the floor if you don't catch it. I think we, we get some nice roads right here, some twisty roads. Let's change up the music. While I'm changing up my music, let me take the chance to say, you can get yourself a Lexan headset, FT4, FT4 Pro, or the G16, along with their other items like their new smart tire pump. Anything you want on their website at lexan-moto.com. Throw that in the cart and use the code GILSTRAP15 at checkout to save you 15% on your order. It adds up. The more you get, the more you save.
really know where we're going out here. I guess anywhere. Go get some bar food. Get my wife drunk. I don't know. It's a little more pricey up here, it looks like. Like 30 cents higher than it is in Omaha. Where are we going? Where are we going? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't care. What? What do you, you want to go to that bar? I don't know. You want a drink? Not really. You want to find something to eat? Uh, I'll pull over real quick. Let me tell you guys that I've never eaten at Runza. It is terrible. I moved out here and these people like hyped it up like, oh man, you gotta try, you gotta try it. Worst, worst restaurant. I don't even know if you'd call it a restaurant. Worst fast food I've ever had, for sure. Disgusting. Let's go grill and chill. I got a bunch of lights burned out. That's a moon's headlight for you. Different, different way of life out here, huh? Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So, the things we see. What you gonna get? I don't know, maybe like a cone or something. Lame. The, the people love you, tell them what you think. I like the ride out here because I, I saw chickens. Did you? Um, like just on the side of the road? No, in someone's yard. Oh. But. I was like, oh, chickies, I want some. But I liked riding. We rode out here with JK before, and it was really pretty. I just like the farming houses and like all the corn everywhere. It's my favorite. We should have bought a farm. Yeah, like an, shut up. an extra hundred grand for what we paid for our house. We could have had a little farm. Then we can live off corn. Forever. That's, I, all, I, that's all we I ever don't get like, I love corn. I'm, I'm fine with it. Everybody. We could have made our own gas. Made our own. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you give Made for the, dog food. What'd you give for the menu? I got a cinnamon roll blizzard. I smell I don't cinnamon know, rolls. Just... I can't believe you didn't get the pumpkin pie. I know. It's okay. I had a pumpkin we'll drink this again. morning. I was oh. disappointed with my pumpkin drink. Yeah, this how was your pumpkin drink from uh, Duncan this morning? Waste of money. Nice and cold? No. A nice oh, yeah, cold, it was cold. A, I a nice hot, cold hot, hot coffee. Pumpkin spice latte. And I got a cold or lukewarm 
It wasn't even warm, actually. It was like cold. Like it's literally been sitting out. That's what it tasted like. It tasted old. It was gross. But America runs on Duncan. Runs away from Duncan. <laughs> No, it was not good. And I've never had a good experience at that Dunkin', but it's just convenient. I keep going there. It's like around the corner. It's I didn't like, want to go to Starbucks. It's like, like that abusive boyfriend you can't get away from. <laughs> I didn't want to go to Starbucks. Like, <laughs> and Starbucks ain't even that far. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to save $3 and go to Dunkin'. Get what you pay for. Yeah. We never learn. I, I learn. No. You don't. I just try to be cheap. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> Spending <laughs> all my <laughs> <the> money. <laughs> Ride when we're old like that. A three wheeler? No, not a three wheeler. The CDO is pretty nice. I hope I got CDO money one day. I'll get there. House is paid off. If Harley's still around, by the time we pay that house off, that'll be like an $80,000 motorcycle. You know what I mean? You get a boat? No, nope, not a boat guy. Never gonna be a boat guy. Never have been a boat guy. Never would be. Even if I came into money, wouldn't be a boat guy. What about like? Razors. Not a razor guy either. Just just a Harley guy, really. That's really all I got a passion for. Like a camper, like a camping. Yeah, that was, I, I'm down for a camper. I'd be down for that. You gotta have like more than one hobby. Uh, you and motorcycles take up all my time. That's it, that's all I got time for. If, if I hit the lotto right now, you know what I would do? I would- Disappear. <laughs> no, it would definitely be mo be motorcycle related. I'd probably start a shop that I didn't have to work in, but like had a work area if I wanted to. You know what I mean? But like, just Can like I run it. Too? That's all I want to do is mess with motorcycles. Hire me to not do anything. <laughs> I, I'll I'll think about it. You're gonna get butt hurt when I fire you though too. <laughs> How was your cinnamon roll blizzard? Oh, good. Yeah. Mine, I'm working on it. Mine's good. You have cheesecake in it? Yep, has cheesecake and Reese's in it. Can you taste the cheesecake? Uh, I don't know, look for a piece. You don't tell me to do that because I will pick out every piece and leave you with nothing. That was Reese's. That was all Reese's, huh? They probably forgot my cheesecake, honestly. I don't know. Look what I found. What? Look at I, I want to go. I want to go down the DQ basement. What do you think's in there? Oh, there's stairs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe it's for the tornadoes. Well, obviously. How do you lift it up? That doesn't seem very safe. I feel like that's just gonna like blow right off. Oh, man, the old me would have been in there already. <laughs> the old you? The old me. I would have been a couple beers deep. I would have been in there. So if we're out here eating, there's a tornado. Are we allowed in there? I'd hope so. And I hope they got free blizzards while you're stuck down there. <laughs> An ice cream, at least a soft serve machine. Yeah, yeah, at least, I mean, some kind of, some kind of compensation, you know? That's cool. But, but what? So do all these places have that? Probably. It's just, especially being right next to those big silos, just one of those oh, things catching air. Flying. Just catching air, those panels just coming right to you. Oh yeah. What happened? What happened to us? little shifter thing this is work. aluminum and steel do not like each other my, my, my memory card using your hands and I'm just like ah, ah. well I can't use my clutch hand to pull in the clutch at the same time I got to shift gears so it's a just hard shifting I can't believe my memory card was full that was YouTube gold just to imagine imagine the title shifter broke on ride home you know what I mean? I might still do it. I don't know. But uh, you shifted my hand. That was pretty. She, I know. Scared for you. Alyssa, Alyssa was like, "Do you need to call somebody?" I said, "Nah." She said, "You're gonna make us crash on the freeway." I said, "Bet." It was a slow ride home. Uh, I was. Uh, those other cars fast. <laughs> I was in third gear, wrapped out, just because I didn't want to have to have. I knew we we're coming up on construction, but yeah, I cut and burned the shit out of my hand on those hot fins, but. That's all you gotta do. Grab that thing, grab that thing, and pull it, baby. That's how we shift. That's how we do it. You break down, you deal with it. That's what happens when you ride a 17-year-old motorcycle. Actually, at the moment, no, I haven't paid the bill 
on the AAA. So no, we don't. But we got a pickup truck and a trailer. No one to call. No one to call. Just the Ghostbusters. I gotta give. Uh, I gotta give this to Presley. Oh, no, you're not giving that to her. Yes, I am. Why it's 26. I don't care on her dresser. No, she's not putting on the dresser. Look, it came all this way. No. Her birthday's the 26th. Keep it in your garage. You get then. things like this, you gotta give it to the kid. You gotta, no, keep it in your Kids garage. Kids are allowed to have stuff, okay? Okay, but her room's clean and she doesn't need clutter like you. That's not clutter, it's one thing no. on a dresser. It can go up She's got a closet. junk drawer. Okay. She can put it in there. I'm junk giving it to her. Drawer. Tell her it's going in your drawer. Okay. It's I'm a gift from it. me. Okay, so in a week I can throw it away. Lame. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.